guys. Ah, good morning, and welcome to week six NFL Analysts and Predictions. And I'm your host, co host, producer, analyst, KP, aka Mr. Random in the building. How are you doing today? Excuse me? Yes. <laughs> Great. Absolutely fantastic. Let's start, shall we? Anyway, now nah, let me get back to it. We are here. You know what you're here. You came here for week six. You want to know if my prediction was right. I must shoot you. I love you. You know what I'm saying? Let's start with it. Let's go right into it, baby. Let's go right into it. Let's go right into it. Let's see if my predictions are right. I'm going to tell you right now. <laughs> I thought my predictions was just... It looked good in the beginning. And it was just like third, fourth quarter. It was like, wow. Really? Wow, interesting. So let's go with the Texans versus Titans. When Derrick Henry, a.k.a. Machine, a.k.a. Terminator of NFL, he's the coordinator of NFL. You see? I said it. You see? That man, who's going to stop him? He is a freight train. Who's stopping that man? 6'4", 250? Pure muscles? Probably like, what, 3% body fat? Out here, you said what he did Joe, to Josh Norman last uh, last week? Did you see what he did to the Texans, though? One man show. That's what that was. Um, Ryan Tannehill. There we go. He did his thing too. You know what I'm saying? Titans with a W, and I told the Titans for that W, and I, was, I got that prediction right. But I'm telling you, Derrick Henry is a monster. I'm telling you right now, candidates. MVP. Right now, you have Patrick Mahomes, Russell Wilson. You better put goddamn Derrick Henry. He bumped off the um. He bumped off um Aaron Rodgers for third place. Cause we're gonna get to that. And we're gonna explain why. Uh, okay. Uh, Teddy say nice win, man. Nice win. I got that win. We're gonna go Ravens versus Eagles. Let's get into that. I got. Let's get into it. <clears throat> Ravens. How the hell did you let the Eagles almost come back and tie up the game? How the hell that happened? You had your foot on their throats. You know what I mean? You apply that pressure. Hey, 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 are you kidding? Oh, that's the Eagles. I can't breathe. <coughs> you couldn't breathe. What the hell was y'all doing? You know what I'm saying? Afterwards. Afterwards. It's like... <coughs> um, It's like... You just never and never in any sports put the let go of the gas. You keep applying that pressure. You know what I'm saying? You keep beating down your opponent so they low. You're not coming back in this game. You know what I'm saying? Okay? We're going to destroy you the first the first half. And the third half, we're going to destroy you even more. So when it comes to fourth quarter, you just like, now you're defeated because there's no way in hell you're coming back. You know what I'm saying? Right? Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? What are you doing? Me saying, bugging, absolutely bugging. Me saying, nice win, Ravens. You stopped them with the two point conversion in the, fourth, in the last minutes, a couple seconds in the last in the fourth quarter. Hey man, you played too close, Ravens. You had them. Lamar Jackson did his thing. The offense just couldn't capitalize. The defense gave up too much big plays. But hey, the Ravens took that W like I said they were going to. So that's the number two. That's two predictions right. Let's absolutely go with number three. Falcons versus Vikings. Sorry, once I said that, my mouth just got really chapped. Excuse me, let me put my chapstick on. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Let's go. Let's go right there. Mm-hmm. Got a double rope. Got a double rope. Got a double rope. Yes. Mm-hmm. What the hell was that? New coach? No. Excuse me. New coach? 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 <laughs> what? <laughs> Sorry about that. Who's that? New coach? No. Oh. New coach? Who are you? We say new coach? Who are you? We say you know not a new fool? Who are you? New coach, new who? You blow out the Vikings? 
who blew out the Viking? I understand Kirk Cousins is horrible. Let me say, he played a horrible game. I'm just going to be with you. But look at Shaw. Julio Jones get balls now. He's a touchdown, two consecutive touchdown pass. Riley Ridley out here for being productive. And Matt Rice, Jarhead dropping dimes? Who? <laughs> oh. Oh. What is this? All right. All right, Falcons. All right. And I took that W. I took that X. Because I chose the Vikings taking that W. So, I, oh man, I'm I'm three I'm three against two right now. Okay, three against two right now. That's fine. Nice win, Falcons. Can you keep it up? You kind of kept your play. You kind of kept your season alive. Cause if you took another loss, game over, bro. <laughs> nice win, Falcons. I was okay. Out here blowing out another team. All right. Nice win. Nice win. All right. Nice win. I say so myself. Oh, we. Let's go. Let's go to Broncos. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Let's go to game four. Browns versus Steelers. Baker Mayfield is I, what I told you, inconsistent. Let me say, in the NFL, you could be inconsistent in college. You know what I'm saying? Because you're that guy. You know what I'm saying? They're not going to bench you until you do like four interceptions in the first quarter. Then they're like, you're garbage. You know what I'm saying? But in the NFL, you can't out here look like a pro. And then the next day, you're out here looking like a high school player. You say, what the heck? I've been telling you, Baker, Baker Mayfield is not, not that guy. He is not built like that. Steelers, top five defense in the NFL, abuse this man. You say, and probably abuse his ribs. He might, he's not playing next week. You say, my man Baker looking for three in tubs. One was in triple coverage. Why? Why? Three men on one dude. You know one of the wide receivers open. Or tight end is open. You got a check down running back is probably open. Huh? Baker Mayfield. I hope you come close to this. I hope you come across this video. Let me say. How about using your noggin? Let me say. All right? Because that's 75% of football, playboy. Let me say. <laughs> Use your common sense. I see three men on one. I have a guaranteed someone is open. Stop being damn greedy. And that's your goddamn problem. Let me say, Mook Moran. Let me say, doo doo. That's why you play for the Browns because you ain't shit. Let me say, garbage. Let me say, I told you I didn't like this man until he was gonna be a bust, and it's proven facts. Let me say, he is not what he say he is. Garbage. Let me say, Steelers take that W. Nice to blow out them, we say, and they're in your division. Get them out of here. Dust them off. I don't even want them to see them win another game. We say, get them out of here. We say, and I took make that prediction right? Yes, sir. So, three wig, three predictions right, one wrong so far. We say, I will we go back to it, all right, and we we cap, we cap afterwards. This this one, this game broke my heart. I'm not going to lie to you. Bengals versus the Colts. I called it. Bengals was smacking the Colts the first half and middle of third quarter. How the hell did you let the Colts come back 21 points up and then beat y'all? You're playing against Phillip Rivers. Let me say, that man has nine kids. His, ball, his balls count is ridiculous. You let this old man beat you, me say. It's not even. It's not even. It was not even borrowed for me say. It's not even borrowed. Now, really, you see my 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 patterns. I always blame the quarterback. You say, if they're trash, you say, Boris it's not. He's not trash. Bengals defense is horrible. Me say. Bengals defense is horrible. Now, yes, Boris had throw some interception. I mean, yeah, but. He damn well played a good, goddamn good game. He put your team up for several points. Um, and the, but the Bengals defense, man, what the hell was that? Good win, Colts. Good win. Tyree Hilton went off. Um, Pascal went off. The wide receiver number fourteen. Hey, I gotta give my props. What it is? Uh, Phil Phillips playing a good game. Come back, King. No, he's not. He's not. You say? No, he's not. Uh, 
Um, but good, good win, Colts. I, I I had a whole high hopes for y'all this game, man. But you you put me down, man. I got that prediction wrong as well. I chose the Bengals, like I said. So good win, Colts, man. Bengals. Oh, I don't know, man. Week seven prediction. Oh, I want to see what y'all play next week. <laughs> well, technically this week. Jesus Christ. Uh, let's go with Lions versus Jaguars. What the hell did I pick the Jaguars? What in my mind thought the Jaguars playing being the Lions? I was wrong on that one as well. Me you say? Back-to-back -back loss predictions. You say? Uh, Lions play a dominant game. They dominate the Jaguars. All boards. Special teams, uh, offense, and defense. Wow. <laughs> okay, Lions, you out here. You said I should have known. I should have known. I should have known that was a big superior team. I don't know, man. But I just had that feeling that Jack was with this family up and coming with a surprise win. Bro, was wrong on that one. All right, nice win, Lions. Okay, right. Next game, another loss. I chose it was against the Bears versus Panthers, and I chose the Panthers. Who lost? What was the score? 23 to 16. Only lost by a touchdown, bro. They 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 blitzed. They blitzed. And they, they, let me tell you, the Bears defense look fabulous. They had they, they, they didn't make they didn't make Bridgewater sit there in the pocket. He did he made him very uncomfortable. They got him out scrambling out the pocket, which is he's not really considered as a scrambler, but he doesn't when he runs, he he's going to run. You know what but he will sit down and you know. But they just never made him comfortable. Blitz, corner blitz, middle line blitz, two outside linebacker blitz. Hook the curl outside. You have a safety coming down the middle. Boom! It was it's it's too. The Bears made that Panthers offense look uncomfortable. You know what I'm saying offensive line was getting abused. You know what I'm saying. You abuse, put that pamp on it, put that baby oil in your hand, tap the booty like, mm, bad boy. That's what they was doing to these Panthers offensive line, man. Nice win, Bears. Nice win. Nice win. Um, this is what this 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 is what got me mad. Giants should have won that game. We had the game Washington versus the Giants. If <laughs> down in the fourth quarter, it was a tie game. I was I'm not, if I'm not correct. When the quarterback was getting sacked, he fumbled the ball and defense, I think it was the free safety, number 48, picked up the ball and ran into the touchdown. I said to myself, if he just took a sack, they wouldn't have scored. Once they scored on that point, it was game over, bro. Oh my God, I, as much as I hate the Giants, Washington should have won that game, for sure. For sure, you saying? Um, good game. It was a good game, but I don't like the Giants. So, <laughs> and then the Giants got their first win. <laughs> Hate. Yes, I'm a hater. You saying? You have to understand this. <sighs> Let's go Broncos versus Patriots, bro. That's the next game. Oh, I got that wrong. I chose Washington. I got to finally a W there. I told you the Broncos are going to go in. What's surprisingly to me is that the Broncos won doing field goals. No touchdowns. Pure field goals. It was 18 or what? 15 or 13 or something like that? No touchdown was scored on the on the on the side of the Broncos. They won by pure field goals. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> That's pure craziness. Me saying, what is that? Six field goals? Six field goals is kick kick. Hey, you take that W no matter how you look at it. You take that W. Oh, that's a hard W. You know what I'm saying? As you think, thank you. Uh, Cam Newton played, but oh, you know that time off when he had the virus. You know, you'll think he's healthy. You think he's back on the field, um, but the time off does take a fold on you, man. You know what I'm saying so. Amen. 
hope they bounce back. Not really, because you know my you in my division, so I don't and I don't like the Patriots. I don't care who plays for quarterback. Um nice win, Broncos. Thank you for that. Check. Jets versus the Dolphins. Now, you thought I was gonna come up here and make a, a little quick video because when I found when we found out Lavelle Bell got released and then got picked up by the Chiefs, you thought I was gonna make no, no, I was not gonna make a quick video about that. Why? Because I expected some stupid move we was gonna make, right? Through the season. That's just gonna bite us in the butt cheeks. Me say, the butt, the are You know what I'm saying? We are the only team in the NFL, not in our division, not in our division, only team in the NFL without a win. Now you hear me say this every season, every every damn damn week. Why are we having a GM? Yo, GM, GM, the GM, general manager of the Jets and the owner. Do me a big favor. <clears throat> Go outside right now. Two, do me two big favors. Go outside, right? Don't don't walk your dog. Don't be with your kids. No, no, just walk outside. Find the biggest rock. And go kick it. Me say, go kick rocks, you bastards. Me say, and then two, fire yourselves. Me say, because y'all are trash. Trash. Hey, coach, go home, snort cocaine like you always do, and then get the hell out of the office. Fire yourself. Say, hey, I want to be released for the season. I am garbage. Get him out of uh, Get him out of here. I said we were going to lose to the Dolphins. We didn't just lose by the Dolphins. We got smacked. Joe Flacco, I didn't like you when you was on the Ravens. You are garbage. You know what I'm If you knew me, especially when he was on the, the Ravens, I would just say the Ravens are nice, but Joe Flacco is just pure. You're kryptonite. You know what I'm saying? Um, can we put the third string quarterback in? Like, but it's about that time. You see? And no, Sam Darnold. I don't like you either. You're a garbage too. <laughs> you see? Get him out of here. Dolphins, W, thank you for that check. I see my team losing next week too. I don't care who we play. We're taking the O. I'm thinking we might just go 0-16. Huh? Because huh? we're that garbage. You see? Another team that just disappointed. What the hell was that? Green Bay versus Buccaneers. What was that? All right, brought to my attention, appreciate you. Someone brought me attention that I didn't see the game, but I saw the recap of it. Um, the Jets, I'm, oh, I'm talking about the Jets. Get them out of here. Okay? I chose Green Bay that game. I lost. The Green Bucket has won that game. If Green Bay, Aaron Rodgers didn't throw those two interceptions, when he threw the season, that was game over. Because they, Green Tampa Bay kept about it. Kept, 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 capitalized on those turnovers. And they didn't bounce back after those turnovers. Aaron Rodgers and that team didn't know what to do afterwards. You know what I'm saying? They got smacked after those two turnovers. They started good and then after the turnovers, it's like, Aaron Rodgers, baby, what you doing? Who are you doing this? What are you doing? Aaron Rodgers is like, oh, I don't know. Um, Eric Rodgers, uh, and then Eric Rodgers has been like, oh damn, I don't, I, we lost this game. Yes, you did. Terribly, too, by the way. Terribly. After the two turnovers, they they smacked your ass. And what's that dude, the running back on the Tampa Bay Jones? He ran a field day on y'all. You say, huh? Jesus. And Gronk out here getting touchdowns now. <laughs> All right, say less. Say less. Nice win, Brokenness. Oh, it's still screw you, Tom Brady. You know said <laughs> uh, Rams versus 49ers. I chose the Rams to win that match, and they disappointed. You know said 49ers came and waxed that ass. I you know said, um, 
not too much to say. Kettle was abusing that off the uh, that defense. Man, it was, he was open all in the middle of the field most of the game. Hey, catching them dimes, you heard me? <laughs> uh, he made Rams day bitch. You saying? I'm just letting you know that. Monday night football football games, double hitter. We had the first game, Bills versus Chiefs. That game was fire. Until the Chiefs pulled away. But at the end of the day, that was a good game. Nice win, Chiefs. Alright. Bills, keep your head high. You played a you played a good game. You just couldn't capitalize. You couldn't you can't move the ball on the Chiefs. I don't know why. You had you had you had you had some plays that you could have just didn't. I don't know, man. Good game though, man. Nice one, Chiefs. All right. The last game we had was Cardinals versus Cowboys. <coughs> Sorry, my thought was at you. Andy Dalton is garbage. You know what Ezekiel <laughs> Elliott coach <laughs> fumbled the ball twice in the first half. And I don't even see the Cowboys being the Cardinals, even if it had that press well. I just that's just me. Um, hope you get well, son. Hope you get well. Um, yeah, I, I said Carter's gonna win, and that's what they did. Um, Cowboys. Uh, let's just go with the Cowboys, Eagles, Giants, Washington. Your whole division is atrocious. Cowboy. Let's go with the Giants. They're one and five. Washington. They're one and five. Eagles, they two, three, and one. Two losses, three wins, one tie. And then you got Cowboys, who's surprisingly top of their division with two and four, if I'm correct, right? Huh? That, just listen, just read, just let that sink in. That's anybody's complete uh, division at that point. The Giants can win like one game and be tied with the damn team Cowboys. And they can take the division. I'm out of here, man. <laughs> Let's recap that. You say, Cowboys, you garbage. I'm sorry. I think it's garbage. And you got Andy Dawn as your backup. So let's recap. Let's recap. All right? Titans, Texans versus Titans, win, right? Got that on. Ravens, Eagles, Ravens won. It's your boy. Falcons versus Vikings, Vikings lost. Huh, heck, right? Browns versus Steelers, Steelers won. Nice work, Steelers. Bengals versus Colts, Bengals lost. Interesting. Let me say, um... Then you got the Lions versus Jaguars. I chose the Jaguars to win. They lost. Bears versus Panthers. Bears won. We saying I lost. I lost that prediction as well. Washington versus Giants. I chose the Washington to win, and Washington bust that ass. I mean, Giants must bust that ass. Broncos versus Patriots. Broncos win. Nice job, Broncos. Jets versus Dolphins. Dolphins win. That's what I told you. Jets is horrible. We say. Even though I love him. Not really. Green Bay versus Buccaneers. God damn it, Green Bay. You should have won that game. Broncos bust that ass, though. You know You had the Rams versus 49ers. 49ers won. I lost that prediction as well. And you got Chiefs versus Bills. Chiefs won last night. And Cardinals versus Cowboys. The Cardinals won. So out of my predictions, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven right. Losses? Watch here this now. Losses. I got one, two, three, four, five, six. Hold on, excuse me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I am 50 out of 50 out here, baby. That's not bad. I take it. You say? What you say? I take it. You're not always going to be right on these predictions. And <laughs> you don't always want to be right. You say? But hey, 50 out of 50, that's not bad, baby. That's what you say? You're still in the game, baby. Good prediction, good week. I hope we stay tuned. Week seven predictions, and I will be posting up tomorrow. Hope you like this video, share it, like, comment below with your favorite team, and if your favorite team, put it thumbs up on it. We say, 
And I love y'all. <laughs> Hurricane. Remember that from <clears throat> Dodgeball? Okay. I love y'all. Stay blessed. Be safe out here. And just know that you're an amazing person. Let me see that smile today. <laughs> Aha! Good afternoon. What? Oh, I'm still here.